The script that's written in our genes directs us from behind the scenes. The words within it shape life's destiny. Hidden in your DNA is your genetic dossier. It tells your future and your history. How traits get passed from parents to a child is something that has kept us so beguiled. Cracking the code. Genetic mysteries to unfold. Cracking the code. Genetic secrets will be told. Cracking the code. Genetic mysteries to unfold. Cracking the code. Genetic secrets will be told. Cracking the code. In the 1850s and 60s, Gregor Mendel's experiments with pea plants led him to the realization that hereditary traits are determined by pairs of factors that we now call genes. But there was another route to the same destination, through a microscope. Both the microscopes and the observations through them were mostly made in what is now Germany. First came the microscopic discovery in the 1830s and 40s that plants and animals are composed of cells, the basic unit of all living things. It was also noticed that within the cell is a central structure, which was termed the nucleus. Then came the realization that a plant or animal grows through the multiplication of its cells. In the 1850s, this led to the cell theory of life, which the German scientist Rudolf Virchow spelled out in his famous statement, all cells derive from pre-existing cells. Improved technology in lenses and in dyes that selectively stain parts of the cell led to further discoveries about the nucleus. In the 1870s, German scientists began to notice thread-like shapes in the nucleus, which were later termed chromosomes after the chromo or color they take up. They were aided by a 17-year-old whiz kid from England, William Perkin, who invented a new aniline dye. They also discovered that the threads split and move apart just before the cells divide into two. This process was called mitosis, which means thread-like. Mitosis is how nucleated cells multiply, creating new tissue and allowing an organism to grow. Prior to mitosis, the chromosomes are too thin to be seen. Then each chromosome doubles itself and the two copies condense and become visible. They are tied together at a midpoint called the centromere. Outside the nucleus, an apparatus called the mitotic spindle begins to form. It consists of two poles from which filaments spread out and surround the chromosomes. Filaments from both poles attach themselves to each of the centromeres. As the poles move farther apart, the double chromosomes line up with their centromeres in the midline. The centromeres then divide and the filaments pull the two sister copies toward opposite poles. In the final phase, the cell begins to divide. When the process is complete, there are two daughter cells in place of one parent cell. This striking behavior during mitosis led scientists to suspect that chromosomes might have something to do with heredity. It was also noticed that the various chromosomes come in pairs and that their number differs from species to species. But within each species, it stays the same. They began to see how chromosomes are transmitted from one generation of cells to the next as an organism develops and grows. But what wasn't clear was how the chromosomes of the two parents combined together to create the very first cell. Sexual reproduction was still a mystery. One obvious problem was that a simple combination of cells would double the number of chromosomes with each new generation. 
So attention now turned to the germ cells, the egg and sperm, and their collections of chromosomes. It was soon noticed that the large eggs and tiny sperm have only one set of chromosomes instead of the usual two of each. Then, while studying sea urchins, whose egg and sperm cells conveniently meet in the outside seawater, another German scientist noticed that during fertilization, the nucleus of a single sperm cell fuses with the nucleus of an egg cell. So it was now apparent that sexual reproduction is a two-step process. In the first step, producing the germ cells, the number of chromosomes is reduced by half. In the second step, fertilization, two parental